Tom is always working. If he's not at the Atelier downtown, I know he's working on opening the new store, he's researching, he's buying new fabric. Like he's always, 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 always working. Seeing the collection come to life, I, I don't think people understand that Kwame like actually cuts, sews, and does his own pattern making. He cuts, he cuts out all really the middleman and gets it done himself. Seeing Kwame work is madness in the sense that he moves at a frequency and a level that I have never seen before. I'm looking at him to see how he worked just to match my own work ethic. And so I'm like, oh, he's going like that. And still, it's like 12 a.m. He's still going. I'm on the, you know, I'm doing sounds and I'm looking over. I'm like, yep, that light's still on. <laughs> okay. He always tells me that I need to keep dreaming because I inspire him to dream. So he's like, you can't worry about anything, Monica. Like, you're the one person that can't worry because you inspire me to dream. He made me be more confident in myself um, and knowing that I can style a fashion show. Like, it takes a lot. He told me that, you know, growing up in Ghana, he didn't have the privilege of social anxiety. If you if you don't go up and talk to people, you won't stand a chance. You won't survive, essentially. And that really stuck with me as someone who's very shy. So the feeling that I got when I put on my first Kwame piece, I like felt like a, a true African, African queen that I am. At the time, I was pregnant. And I just remember, like, I'm like, am I gonna be too pudgy for this? Like, am I gonna fit the right way? And like, it just made me glow even more. I remember telling him, like, I might be bigger by the time the fashion show comes around. Like, did you still want me to wear the same piece? And he's like, girl, if that belly pops out, like, rock it. Like, that's what you, you know, you're here on this earth for, you know, to bring life. So if that belly shows, like, let the people know you're pregnant. And like, I just felt so beautiful. I came over to the atelier to help him with a few things before the show. And he had made the jumpsuit for me and surprised me with it. And it was, the best, best, best gift that I could possibly have gotten from him. I was so excited because I really was not expecting it. And when I wore it, like people were nonstop stopping me at the elevator and stopping me before I was walking in and asking to take pictures of me. And I was just like, this is what this jumpsuit did. This is like the magic that it's working right now. And then when I'm wearing like his more tight fitting things, I kind of just feel very sexy and confident. He doesn't really approach life or work as problems. He approaches them as an adventure. And at the end of the adventure, it always turns out to be something more magical than you could have imagined. And that's been really cool to be a part of. Um, I think his energy is extremely genuine and it comes from a place of, um, just truly knowing how to treat people and I think that's the most important thing you know in this life you can do whatever you want you can have a lot of accomplishments but at the end of the day people care about how you treat other people and if you treat people really well people will do anything for you and I, that really shined seeing how there's so many models makeup artists hairstylists everybody was able and willing to come together to bring his vision to life because they knew what a dope person he was. I think it's just gonna explode from here. Beverly Hills to everywhere.